Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the clarity and color correction graphics packs as shown in my previous two videos. Let's jump on over to my desktop view and get started. The first thing we want to do is come over to this link and download the graphics packs. Click here to download, I'm going to save mine to my desktop. Once I have them downloaded, I need to create a new folder, I'm going to call this new folder New Graphics Packs. Once this folder is created, drag and drop this zip file into said folder. Open up this folder, right click and using your extraction software you need to extract these here. As you can now see, we have an alphabetized list of these graphics packs including the new Clarity graphics packs which I have displayed in my previous videos. All you want to do is grab all of these new graphics packs as they are regularly updated and made to run at better performance. Grab them like so, copy them, then we need to come over to our CMU folder, graphics packs and paste them right here. You will need to replace any file destinations and that's all we need to do. The next thing we want to do is we want to launch our CMU EXE. Open your CMU folder, CMU, and come up to Options and Graphics Packs. Let's expand this window so we can see what we want to turn on. As you can see, down here, we now have the Graphics Packs, Clarity, GFX, and Color Tweak and Adjustable Bloom. We want to turn on both of these Graphics Packs. Some of the Graphics Packs you see right here are not used with CMU anymore and are out of date like no anti-aliasing which is now inbuilt into the resolution Graphics Packs and no cell shading which is an experimental Graphics Pack at this time. Let's now load our game and make sure that CMU is indeed working with this new Clarity and Color Correction Graphics Pack. And perfect, as you can now see, Clarity Graphics Packs are now active, offering us better colour, better darkness contrast and removal of the horrible grey mist from our screens. If you are not a fan of the updated colour correction, all you need to do is only turn on the Clarity GFX Pack and you will remain at the original colour grading for the Wii U version of the game. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.